first things first, I heat the wire needles in an incinerator. This is called the aseptic technique and is a common method to avoid cross-contamination. Then I get the work sheets from the previous day. These are already stacked in a manner where the plates are arranged as the worksheets are in order to have more organized workflow. Here I'm just writing down my observations on the organism's growth on the plates, specifically their colony count and colony characteristics. Different agars are used for different organisms depending on their growth requirement, so for one patient sample, a minimum of two agars are used. Here I'm just segregating the agars for disposal. It depends on your laboratory's standard operating procedures how long you will incubate these agars before releasing a no pathogen isolated report. Basically, a no pathogen isolated report or NPI is when after a specific period of time, there was no significant colony number on your agar which means most likely the growth are non-pathogenic and will most likely not cause serious infections. Finally done with the follow-up from the previous days. So now I'm just putting these worksheets for release in a different table. I am now checking the plates that were subcultured. These are basically plates with growth that met the standard colony count to be considered pathogenic. We get one colony and put it in another medium, usually a differential medium, to allow it to grow so that we can isolate a pure colony. <laughs> These are all of the more recent worksheets. You basically do the same as what you did. The only difference is we don't discard the plates yet since it's the first 24 hours of incubation. So if you don't see a significant growth on the plate, you stack them for reincubation until such time, again depending on your laboratory SOP, that no growth on the agar is seen. Here I'm also segregating the plates that can already be subcultured and some plates that are ready for identification. Can you see those swarming colonies on the blood agar plate? Even if I've been doing this for a while, some plates still seem to amaze me. That's Sir Blue right there, say hi! He went in to check our water supply is in good condition. We use the ionized water for our machines. I am finally done with the follow-ups. Time to clean up and put these plates back in the incubator for another 24 hours. All that's left to do is do another cleaning before I put the fresh plates in. This scene is the usual setup non medtech people imagine when medtechs tell them that we're medtechs on our microscope daily. But that's actually just a part of it. We have a lot of different things to do in the lab too. From making sure our machines are working properly, results are documented well, making sure reagents are stored in the respective storage temperature requirements, and of course, making sure we're not using the expired ones. We are doing all these to make sure that we release the most accurate and reliable results. We're not gonna start that yet because so oh, 
before we autoclave, we make sure na na-release na tanan o pinay-discard tanan. Quick lab tour. Charat. So, that's it. Thank you for working with me on this fine Sunday morning. And I hope you learned something from this vlog. Medtech signing off. Bye!